Today, we are covering Virtual Smart Zone RMAs with licensing. In the description box below, we've included great resources to assist you, including links to our how-to hub. Be sure to check it out often as we are always updating the content. I'm already logged into the Ruckus support portal and both the defective and replacement Virtual Smart Zone instances we are working on. As you work with your own licensing, you'll need to have your username and password for the support portal handy. We will be working in both the support portal and the licensing manager. The goal of what we are achieving is to move all of our virtual smart zone instance licensing from one instance to another. It sounds difficult, but lucky for us, the tools make it really quite simple. That said, this process becomes much longer if we don't already have our new VSZ instance up and running. So if you haven't done that yet, I'd recommend you get the installation of your new VSC instance done prior to performing the following steps. To begin, we need to capture the serial number of our defective virtual smart zone instance. Navigate to System, and our serial number is located here. I'll copy the serial number to the clipboard, and we'll head to the Licensing Manager, or Lyman for short. In Lyman, we are going to search for our serial number. We see the search returns a result. Let's right click and open this in a new tab. In the new tab, we can see which license types are attached to our virtual smart zone instance. In your case, you'll most likely have a larger number of licenses attached, but this is a demonstration, so we only have a few. Once we perform the transfer, the support and RTU licenses will transfer over to your new instance automatically. Other license types that are managed by the license pool will land in the pool once again, and we will need to map them to the new instance. Let's return to the Lyman tab. Under Action, we have an RMA button. I'll click there. We are now taken to the Open a New Case page. Under Step 1, select VSCG vSpot and a priority of P4. Even if this is an emergency, select P4. We are handling the entire process ourselves, so selecting a P1 won't make this process work any faster. For step two, we need to include both serial numbers. The serial number of the defective instance is already populated. So naturally, we need to gather the serial number of our new instance. In our new instance, navigate to System. We can copy the serial number here into our clipboard. Now we go back to the support portal and paste the serial number in the new serial number field. Then we click submit. In the background, a Ruckus support case is being submitted and routed to the support team. In addition, you should also receive an email from Ruckus support informing you that the new license has been generated. You may not receive it immediately, but you will receive one. All right, this screen displays our case details, including the case number. Also, we can note the defective and replacement serial number. This is a good time to double check everything and make sure it's accurate. Now we'll go back to Lyman. We want to verify that our new replacement serial number has been processed. So we search for the serial number and click on the result below. Now we can see RTU and support. They transferred successfully. Let's allocate our AP capacity license now. The license should be back in our license pool. So we just need to allocate it to the new serial number. Click on the plus license button. Here. We select Capacity AP under Feature Name and click Search. Our search results show our license. We just add a quantity of five, scroll down, and click on Add License. We have two options in terms of loading the license to our new Virtual Smart Zone instance. We can download the file and manually add it to the instance, or we can use the Sync Now option. The sync option works if you have internet access from SmartZone itself. If we don't have access to the internet, say because our firewall rules filter that traffic, or the instance is new or at a remote site without access, we'll need to download the license file to our computer and install it manually. I'm going to download the file for example's sake and show you where to upload the file. In SmartZone, navigate to Administration and Licenses. Here you'll note you have an Upload button. This is where you upload the license file that we've just downloaded. I'm going to use the Sync Now option, so we click on Sync Now, and you notice the AP Capacity license was loaded almost immediately. Before you go, be sure to check the description box below and access any of the great resources we've provided. Thanks for watching.